Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's session, I am going to talk about uh, two writers, Thomas Sackville and Thomas Norton. Before the session, do subscribe my channel to get the further updates about the upcoming lecture. Thomas Sackville was born in the year uh, 1536 and he lived up to 1608. He was an English statesman, poet and uh, also dramatist. He was the son of uh, Richard Sackville. Uh, Thomas Sackville was said to be the first Earl of Dorset. He was educated at St. John's College uh, in Cambridge University. In the year of 1558, Thomas Sackville uh, entered into the House of Commons, House of Commons uh, which was the lower house of the Parliament of England. Uh, he, he entered into the House of Commons in the year of 1558 as one of the Knights of the Shire for uh, uh, Westmoreland. In the year 1559, he was elected for East Grinstead and then uh, in the year of 1563, he was elected for Aylesbury, A-Y-L-E-S-B-U-R-Y. Sackley got a chance to travel to Rome in the year 1566 where uh, he was arrested and detained as a prisoner for 14 days. Uh, the reason was not clear uh, for what reason he was arrested, but at the time there was a great tension between England and uh, a papacy. Papacy is uh, the office and uh, jurisdiction of the Bishop of Rome. His father was passed away in the year and uh, he returned to England. In the year of 1567, Thomas Sackville created uh, Baron uh, Buckhurst. His most significant mission came in the year 1571 uh, when he was sent to bear Queen Elizabeth's congratulation to Charles uh, uh, IX of France uh, on his marriage to uh, Elizabeth of Austria, who was the daughter of the uh, Emperor Maximilian. And uh, the most important leap uh, to negotiate the matter of the proposed alliance between Queen Elizabeth I and uh, the Duke of uh, Anjou, A-N-J-O-U, who was uh, the brother of uh, French king. In the year of 1572, Sackville was uh, one of the peers who sat on the trial of uh, Thomas Howard, the fourth Duke of uh, Norfolk. In the year 1579, he hosted uh, the Scottish academic Hercules Rolock, R-O-L-L-O-C-K, at the Buckhurst place. Rolock wrote uh, Latin verses in praise of Sackville and his house. In the year of 1587, uh, he went as an ambassador to the United Provinces. Uh, upon their complaint against uh, the Earl of uh, Leicester, uh, but uh, uh, though he performed his trust with the uh, integrity, the favorite had sufficient influence to uh, get him uh, recalled. And uh, on his return, Thomas Aquile was ordered to uh, confinement in his own house for nine or ten months. He incurred uh, Queen Elizabeth's displeasure uh, by what she called his uh, shallow judgment in diplomacy. However, Sackville's disagree was uh, short, for in 1588, he was presented with the order of the Gatter, G-A-R-T-E-R, it's an order of uh, chivalry founded by Edward III of England in the year 1548. Uh, it's the most censor order of uh, knighthood in the British honor system. And uh, he was sent again to uh, Netherlands in the year 1589 and 1598. Sackville was fortunate uh, to be uh, selected as the Chancellor of University of Oxford in the year of 1591. In the year of 1599, he succeeded William Cecil and Lord uh, Burghley, B-U-R-G-H-L-E-Y, uh, as a Lord Treasurer, a position which he kept until his death. In the year of 1601, uh, as I.S.T. would, uh, he pronounced a sentence uh, on the Earl of Essex, who had been as a rival for the chancellorship and his opponent in politics. In the year of 1603, uh, James I, who came uh, south from uh, Scotland uh, at the Union of the Crowns, uh, many courtiers traveled to uh, Northamptonshire in the year of 1603 to greet Annie of uh, Denmark. In the year of 1603, Sackville wrote uh, that uh, he and uh, the Lord Keeper Thomas Egerton were traveling uh, to do our duties to the Queen the prince and the princess, all the world flying 
beforehand to see her. In the year of uh, 1603, in the month of August, he was working on the settlement and value of any of Denmark's uh, joint shares land in England. In the year of 1604, King James confirmed Sackville in the office of Lord of Treasurer and uh, there he was created a whole of uh, Dorset. Uh, Olaf Dorset is a title which has been created at least four times uh, in the peerage of England. Thomas Sackville was also popularly remembered for his uh, literary contributions. Uh, with the Thomas Norton, uh, Thomas Sackville was an author of uh, uh, first English play uh, in the year 1561, uh, which was written in a blank verse, name of the play is Gorbadoc. He also contributed uh, uh, to the, the edition of the Mirror of the Magistrates, uh, which is uh, poetry collections uh, with his poem, uh, The Complaint of Henry and uh, Duke of Buckingham. Sackville acquired a large fortune through his land dealings in many countries, uh, as well as the farm uh, from his investments in the uh, iron foundry business. He was an advocate of a stronger enforcement of uh, uh, sanctuary laws which regulated uh, the types of clothing uh, allowed to be worn by the various social classes within the military. Uh, the sanctuary laws, uh, which means uh, a laws, you know, which try to regulate the conceptions, uh, laws made for the purpose of uh, restraining the luxury or extravagance, particularly against uh, uh, inordinate expenditures uh, for apparels, food, furniture. Sackville di dictated that uh, only uh, soldiers uh, holding the rank of uh, colonel or above uh, should be permitted to wear uh, silk and velvet. And uh, the captains and uh, all ranks below uh, should ma uh, make do with uh, fustian. Fustian means uh, a variety of uh, heavy cloth uh, woven from cotton, chiefly prepared for uh, men's wear, and uh, spend the remaining money on their arms. In around 1587, Sackville was uh, granted a royal license to uh, commission a suit of armor from the royal workshops at Greenwich. Finally, uh, Sackville died uh, at the council table having uh, a stroke, uh, uh, you know, suffered a stroke, uh, referred to as uh, a dropsy on the brain. His funeral took place at uh, Westminster Abbey and he was buried in the Sackville's family vault at the uh, Withyham Parish Church. Now let's see his work, uh, the most popular work, Gorbodok, which created a place in the English literature for uh, Thomas Sackville. Uh, Gorbodok was a play, uh, The Tragic of Gorbodok. It was also titled as uh, Ferrex and Porex, F-E-R-R-E-X and P-O-R-R-E-X, Ferrex and Porex. Okay? Uh, this play uh, was you know uh, published in the year 1561 and it was first performed at the christmas celebration given by the inner temple in the year 1561 and uh, performed at uh, whitehall before queen elizabeth i uh, in the year of 1561 in the month of january uh, by the gentlemen of the inner temple uh, this play was written by uh, two writers, Thomas Sackville and uh, Thomas Norton. Thomas Norton was said to be uh, responsible for the first two acts, and the final two acts are uh, by Thomas Sackville. It is seen that the first quarto of the book was published by the bookseller William Griffith. Uh, was published uh, in the month of September in the year 1565. A second uh, authorized quarto was corrected by the authors followed in the year 1570 and printed by John Day uh, with the title The Tragedy of Ferrex and Porex. Uh, the third edition was published in the year 1590 by Edward Aldi, A-L-L-D-E. Uh, this play was uh, notable for uh, several reasons as the first verse drama in English uh, to employ a blank verse, of course. Uh, for its uh, political subject matter, uh, this was uh, still uh, a touchy area in the early years of uh, Elizabeth's reign, while the succession to the throne was unclear. Uh, for its manner, progressing from the models of the morality play and uh, Senecan tragedy in, in the direction which would be followed by later playwrights, uh, it can be seen as a forerunner of the whole trend uh, which would later produce uh, Titus Adronicus, T-I-T-U-S, A-N-D-R-O-N-I-C-U-S, Titus Antronicus, 
which is a tragedy by William Shakespeare, uh, believed to have been written between 1588 and uh, 1593, probably uh, in the collaboration with George Peel and uh, uh, King Lear. It, it also provides the first well-documented performance of a play in Ireland. Charles Blount, uh, eighth Baron uh, Mountjoy, staged it at uh, Dublin Castle in the year 1601. The plot of the play, uh, which was, uh, you know, was seen as an argument, and uh, uh, the Godbodog was uh, the king of Britain who divided his realm in the uh, life in his lifetime to his sons, uh, Ferrex and Porrex. Uh, these two are his sons, uh, the king Godbodog. Uh, the sons fell to uh, dissensions. His sons were uh, disagreement uh, with his father uh, in the divisions. Uh, the the a younger killed the elder, and uh, the mother uh, more dearly loved uh, the elder. So the mother killed the younger. Uh, the people moved with the cruelty of the fact, uh, rose in the rebellion, and uh, slew both father and mother. The nobility assembled and uh, most terribly destroyed the uh, rebels. And uh, afterward, uh, for want of issue of the prince, whereby the succession of the crown became uncertain. They fell to civil war in which both uh, they and uh, may of their issues were uh, slain and the uh, land for a long time almost desolate and miserably wasted. Uh, Gorbodok announces plan to uh, divide his kingdom between his son uh, Ferrex and Porrex. His counselors advised against it, uh, reminding them um, of the conflict that arose between the cousins Morgan and uh, Cunedag, C U N E D A G, Cunedag, when Britain was divided between them, uh, which led to Morgan's death. Gorbodak appreciates their advice but uh, goes ahead with his plan. Ferrex is advised by the parasite uh, Hermon to take the whole kingdom. Tinder tells Porrex that his brother is making planes for war, meaning uh, Porrex decides to enter as a uh, bearing the news of Ferrex's death. Porrex meets his father and justifies his actions, saying that he was content to rule his kingdom, but uh, that his brother plotted to take his lands. However, his mother, Videna, then stabs him dead while he is sleeping in revenge for Ferrex, because uh, mother loves Ferrex very much. The people rise up uh, in anger and kill both uh, the queen and the king, uh, blaming the king for Porrex's death. And the nobles prepare to act against the rebels. However, the succession is left uncertain. Fegus, Duke of Albany, who makes a plan to gain the throne and begins rising an army while his friends try to gather support. The nobles defeat uh, rebels. But uh, here that Fagus has uh, raised an army and he intends to take the crown. The nobles opposes Fagus, thinking of him as a foreign invader. Arostas, A-R-O-S-T-U-S, who says that parliament must decide upon a new king. Eubulus, E-U-B-U-L-E-S, Eubulus uh, bemoans the, uh, Eubulus uh, bemoans the uh, Koyes, uh, which has happened to the country and says that parliament should have been called while the king was alive, but uh, justice will eventually prevail. That's it about the play. Uh, now let me list out the characters who were involved in the play. Gorbodok was the king of Britain, uh, Videna, V-I-D-E-N-A, was the queen and wife of the king Gorbodok. Ferrex, uh, the elder son of the king Gorbodok, Porrex, uh, younger son to the king. Clotine, C-L-O-T-Y-N, Clotine was the duke of Cornwall, then Fergus, was a Duke of Albany, then uh, Mandard, Duke of uh, Ligre, then uh, Givnad, G-W-E-N-A-R-D, was the Duke of Cumberland, then Eubulus, was the secretary to the King Gorbodok, and uh, Arostas, uh, was the counselor of King Gorbodok, then Dordan, was a counselor assigned by the king to his eldest son, Ferrex. Then Philander was a counselor assigned to assigned by the king to his youngest son, Porrex. Hermon 
uh, a parasite of uh, ferrets and fagus slave a tinder a parasite of porox nantios a messenger of ferrets death and uh, marcella or lady of the queen's privy chamber then chorus for ancient and sage men of britain apart from this play godbodak uh, sackville had published uh, two poetries uh, in the, in the poetry collection called the mirror of uh, magistrates the mirror of magistrates uh, which is uh, a collection of english poems from a uh, tudor period which is uh, the queen elizabeth's family ring uh, these uh, poems were written by different writers in which uh, he contributed two poetries which is uh, the first one is the induction and the second one is buckingham's complaint and uh, through this poetry he he registered himself as a poet in the english literature now uh, let me move on to thomas norton uh, who helped the sackville for uh, completing his uh, play called a uh, gorbudak thomas norton was born in the year 1532 he lived up to 1584 he was also a lawyer a politician of course a poet and playwright he was born in london uh, son of thomas norton he was educated at cambridge university he was also served as a secretary to edward seymour who was the first duke of somerset in the year of 1555 thomas norton was admitted as a student at the inner temple norton also served in the parliament as the representative of gatton in the year of 1562 norton became mp for berwick and he was very active in politics he became the one official leader of a group of about 50 members of the house of commons which g r elton saw as the first to semi official opposition in the parliament he was inspired by the religious views of his father in law and was a possessor of a grammar's manuscript code of ecclesiastical law you know he permitted john foxe to publish in the year 1571 so the cramer's manuscript code was uh, it was an ecclesiastical law which was uh, permitted by norton to uh, publish this law this is the ecclesiastical law was permitted by uh, norton to john foxe to publish in the year 1571 uh, he went to rome uh, on a legal business uh, in the year uh, 1579 from 1580 till 15 83 he frequently visited the channel islands as a, a commissioner to inquire into the status of these possessions norton was the first remembrances of the city of london was holding the office from 1570 till his death uh, 1584 norton's calvinism uh, was grown and uh, towards the end of his career where uh, he became uh, a fanatic uh, norton held several interrogation session in the tower of london using torture instruments such as uh, the rack his punishment of uh, catholics as their official censor from 1581 onwards he was uh, nicknamed as rack master general and the rack master norton norton uh, puritanism made him uh, objectionable uh, to the english bishops he was uh, deprived of his offers and thrown into the tower he was released by francis walsingham but his health was not good in the year of 1584 in the month of march norton was uh, died in his house at uh, sharpenow see from his uh, age of 18 onwards uh, norton started to compose poetry verses uh, with uh, jasper haywood uh, he was a writer of sonnets okay he also contributed uh, in the totals miss shallani in the year 1560 he co-authored along with thomas aquilly uh, that is the earliest english tragedy gorbodak which was uh, performed before elizabeth first in the inner temple and in the year 1561 uh, gorbodak was revised uh, as uh, the tragedy of ferrex and forex in the year 1570 norton's early lyrics have uh, mostly disappeared his numerous anti catholic pamphlets include uh, those of rebellion of uh, northumberland and the projected marriage of mary queen of scots to the duke of norfolk norton also translated calvin's institutes 
in the year 1561 and Alexander's novels Catechism, C-A-T-E-C-H-I-S-M in the year 1570. Gorbatov was uh, edited by William Duran Cooper. Well, uh, that's it about today's session. Uh, thank you for watching. Do subscribe my channel.